Hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for sticking around. Today we're going to finish off the 2013 Volkswagen Golf. Uh, one of our other videos you saw us wiring up the, the harness. The car is now here. Just finished doing some basic checks from me taking a look at what's on the dash. Which glad he doesn't have to go far to checking out all the radio making sure everything works the balance the fader fades to the right all the speakers sound normal I said fade to the right fade to the rear balance to the left to the right everything all the speakers sound good they just want to sound better removing the radio in these cars is fairly straightforward you will need some form of a, a pry tool I like to use a pick tool to get in underneath this plastic trim to get started and then you can run the pry tool in there uh, and you're going to need a T20 Torx bit. So we just start on the bottom corner. And work our way around. There we go, just like that. You can see it's got we got six metal clips on this one. I see one was left behind. We'll put some adhesive into that to put it back where it goes. And then we have our four T20 bits or screws here. I've already gone ahead and uh, pushed the, the eject button to make sure there's no CDs in there. Because once, once we take the radio out and disconnect it, if you don't check for a CD, you may never get it back out. It might get lost in there until you ever hook it back up. And, radio just pulls out and then on the back you can't really see it from there you've got your large connector here you just kind of bend back on the tip a little bit there's a spot where you can squeeze that lever comes up and it comes right out the antenna adapter same thing there's this little lever that you push in this is being a little a little stubborn all you do is slide the, the plastic tab back push down on it and it pulls out and there we have it one factory radio 
ready to go collect dust in the corner. Now, because we did the prep yesterday for the harness, I don't need to walk you through that one again. The harness plugs in the same way. It just goes, yeah, the, this group of eight connectors here is two rows of four, two rows of four. They correspond with the pins on the inside of the plug. Goes together, pull down on that arm, and that's that done. Now the antenna adapter didn't show you that yesterday. There is a wire you have to hook up on that, but we are using the 40-EU56 from Metra. It is a double-ended adapter. It just connects in, push that lever tab back in. We do have to hook up this antenna wire. It's a powered antenna, helps give it the, a little bit more signal. Okay, we've got all the wiring tucked in here. I was able to fi find a nice little spot to put our crux interface module. There's a nice harness back here that it's connected to. It's uh, mounted in there nice and solid, not going to bounce around. So now, we have just our antenna wire and our main power harness. Everything will tuck in there when we're done. I'm not bolting it in yet. I still have the Bluetooth microphone to run. This is just to cancel the demo. the radio stations right. so with that working we take the key out open the door make sure everything is powered down make sure it stays on that station Just like that. So now we get to finish up the the install by having the Bluetooth mic installed. Now for the Bluetooth mic, I, I always tuck it up either in the center of the the headrest but between just over the rear view mirror or if i don't have enough wire i put it up in the top left where the a pillar is for the driver's side there we just hooked up the bluetooth microphone in back i just kind of edited that one out just Real simple. I went from the, the top of the driver's side A pillar. Didn't quite have enough wire to go all the way to the center of the, the head headliner. 
right so now with it all plugged in now just put the four t20 bolt screws back in test it one more time make sure everything is all wired right show you that here in a second don't need these bolts very tight We have our little phase tester here. We're going to switch over to the USB that I just put in. And it has a whole lot of different test tracks. Everything from your 40 hertz note to a 1K note. And you have that little ticking noise. See it flashing green, 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 those are green. That one's green. That one's green. There's a look at the speakers that are going to be going in this thing. Green. And green. So all the speakers are wired up how they're supposed to be. Which is great news. It means that we can now continue on with the install of the door speakers. So let's finish putting this dash back together. Doesn't take much. I do need to go put some adhesive on this little one here. But when I'm done, That'll go back over, it'll sit in there like it was meant to be there, and it'll be there for the customer to enjoy for years to come. So stick around, the next portion will be doing the front speakers, and followed by the rear. So stay tuned, while you're waiting, click that subscribe button, and uh, you'll get notified when I get the other videos done. Till next time.